Okay, this is Bound by Flame. As you can see, it's a, uh, a third-person action RPG. It's uh, been out for a while, actually. Been out since uh, middle of 2014, I think. But it got released for Linux on, I believe, Friday. Uh, oh, I've been playing it a bit, just to get the hang of it. shift. There we go. Let's do that. I'm, I'm obviously, I'm playing in big picture mode. I'm using my Steam controller, which is supported, although there's, there are some uh, quirks of... There we go. There are some quirks do with our camera control and stuff. Let's see. Yeah. Gosh. We'll do that, shall we? But I guess we'll see if that hurts. I'll do easy. You know, you know what I'm all about. Easy mode is what it is. I was doing easy mode earlier. I still died several times. So there you go. I doubt I shall ever forget the strange series of events that led to my meeting young Vulcan. The peoples of the world had been fearfully whispering about the Ice Lords for the past ten years. Though, of course, they had been present long before then. The Deadwalker army, an endless horde of undead creatures under the Ice Lord's command, swept down from the mountains in the north annihilating all resistance on the continent. Each battle only served to swell their ranks with the defeated dead, and the bloodless world seemed ready to sink into an endless ice age where there would be no place for the living. There were a few who still Sorry, tried to stand to against this. the invaders. The elves, who had hitherto no. remained neutral, and the red scribes, a small group of scholars who believed their knowledge might be able to tip the scales. The scribes had recently engaged the services of a group of mercenaries known as the Freeborn Blades, a renowned company who would become even more so after these events. The Blades were to protect them while they performed a ritual which was intended to change the course of the war. So, there you go. There's the plot. I couldn't skip the cutscene, or at least I couldn't skip it with my controller. Um, you'll notice that the, the the character is called Vulcan, whatever you name your character, in the cutscenes. I wouldn't worry about that. It's it's not a AAA RPG, this. It's, a, uh, it's an indie-type setup. The normal price... It's 20 quid at present, but it's 80% off this weekend. Which is a, uh, well, pretty good deal, really, considering. So you can have it for 4 quid or 3 99 at the minute. It has mixed reviews. It smelled up from 50 yards away. Here we go. And the captain wanted me to stay and set up camp. It has mixed reviews. I didn't join the Freeborn Blades to stack pots and dig with trees. Yeah, we're not fighting yet. We're watching videos of the fighting. A lot of the reviews uh, are, are saying it's a fairly linear plot. It's relatively short. Uh, 13 to 15 hours. Let's say. Um, on the other hand, if you're looking at it from the point of view of buying it right now, it's four quid for 13 to 15 hours of gameplay. Uh, the voice acting isn't particularly brilliant. Uh, the main character is a bit better than some of the other characters, but yeah. But it is voice acted, 
Oops, so there. Soon there won't be a town left to fall back to. Or even a tavern where you can spend your pay. There's no one left to turn back this filthy, stinking tide. And if it were possible. Now, I know there are side missions because there's an achievement for it, but we've not really come across many of them yet in my, uh, you know, what would you call it, a normal playthrough. And this this is all based on the prologue anyway, so this, the bit you're going to see as I go through this video, is essentially the tutorial. So, you know, bear that in mind what you're seeing. Still. Still a fairly they're already here. I better warn the other a fairly rare uh, genre on on Linux. You know, third person action RPG. You get the uh, Victor Vran or oh, let's uh, search this thing for whatever it is. There we go, I've collected some ingredients. Victor Vran is probably the uh, standout uh, game in terms of a uh, presentation. This is more of a sort of a, a Dragon Age style style game, I would have said. Enjoy your stroll. Get over here and tell me about it. A quest journal. That works. There we go. So while I'm in here I can uh, I can nip through so there's a the side quest tab. Here are the creatures I have encountered, or will encounter. Here is the uh, the uh, various roles of uh, various characters we're going to meet. There we go. Uh, there's map. There's weapons. You can craft, uh, not yet, evidently, but there is crafting uh, to do with the weapons having like um, uh, add-on slots. I guess you would call them, you know, like gem slots. There you go. Those, so that, that those three dots let you put in uh, various functions, and you craft the functions from from the gear you find. Uh, we'll carry on items. Yep. So there's my crafting materials. Uh, my skill tree. You can see I've not got anything in it yet. And what have we got here? All right, yeah. So feet. So this is just like uh, character features. Uh, so not related. So the, the skill tree is like skills or weapons or, or different attack styles, and that the these are more to do with your innate abilities. I guess is the way of looking at it. Anyway, let's carry on. We're going to do some crafting in a minute. Let's talk to the captain. Enjoy. By the looks of you, I'm guessing it wasn't just a quiet stroll. So, what did you see? The dead walkers are already close. I got one of their scouts. God damn it, Vulcan! I've told you a hundred times, recon means observing and reporting. Not charging in and fighting without thinking. I didn't want to alert all of the others before we were ready for them. But what if they'd have killed you? Then you wouldn't have been able to alert us before they were ready to attack us. Think for a second. God's blood. He's a demanding man. Now that you've finally got your ass back over here, you can prepare some traps. Get Peeler to help you place them around the temple. That'll give us some time, and we'll hear them coming. Yes, sir, Captain. And if you have questions, you know where to find me. So, we need to pick up some equipment. Yep, there's a map. Three I think, without a chance to spend I think this time. is the equipment. I'm sick of this goddamn war. No, the equipment's over here. Oh, perhaps there's a chest. Oh, there we go. And, oh, there it is. Right, I see. I understand why I can't open it now. There we go. Craft 10 explosive traps. So we're going to get a tutorial. 
Let's open up our crafting menu and X to craft. Ten. Craft. Yes. That should do it. I'll give all these to Peeler. He'll figure it out. And then we find this Peeler bloke. I think he's over here. Speak to Buffalo. Speak to Peeler, there we go. Hey Peeler, give me a hand, will you? We've got to prepare the area before it gets overwhelmed with walking corpses. We need a little something to welcome our dead walker friends. Booby trap all the access points. And try not to blow yourself up. <laughs> Don't sweat it, I can handle it. I'm not kidding. If you lose an arm, I'm the one who will get shit about it. So there is a slightly weird bug uh, with camera control uh, in that uh, sprint. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. Let's uh, search that pile of whatever it is. Leather. Right. I mean, the power yes, there's a bug. There's a the bug to do with the, word. Uh, the camera just rotates up and say stuck basically above the character. Uh, several people have experienced it. And the fix seems to be. Oh, let's do that. The fix seems to be to uh, switch the game into into a uh, window mode and back to full screen and that seems to uh, override whatever it is that's that's causing issues with with the camera control I, I also managed to get around it by switching the uh, steam config steam controller configuration between uh, mouse emulation and right joystick camera emulation basically if you flip between those two it seems to be uh, moderately sensible afterwards one way or the other right so we get some combat which obviously I'm not very good at that's just traditional in my videos so it's going to pop up various tutorial things Quick attack. Block with the right trigger and trick it quick attack. There we go. I've got one of them. B to kick. Apparently, there we go. I see, I already told you that, obviously. We need to break his guard, yep. Now you can do some sort of counter attack. But I'm not fully figured out. Not fully figured out. Okay, so you have to time it. Clearly, I'm not timing it. The last so there we go. So the last second parry enables you. So you right trigger and then hold. Okay. Let's see if I can get it. Is that it? I think it was. Range track left trigger and X. I could probably also blow him up on my track.
Okay. So we're progressing through the tutorial nicely. Yep, lock a target. That's what I'm doing. Not really. Let's just let's just punch the bloke. Let's, uh, I've not got any healing, so I'm going to die. So let's just back out and run away. Let's regen some health. Let's deal with the archer. There we go. So because I'm too busy fanning around trying to figure out how I'm supposed to, um, Supposed to block and parry. Ugh, I'll do this bit again. Well, I think on easy mode, rather than figuring out how to block and parry, just hit the bloke repeatedly. But we shall see. So I'll try that one more time. I'll try that one more time and we'll see how we get on. If I actually, you know, just do some button mashing instead of, instead of trying to figure out what the tutorial is saying. Blow him up. There we go. I did blow one up with my trap. That's nice. Oh shite! Here come more of them. Come on, now. come over here. Come over here. Come on. Come on. There we go. Nice. Yeah, I know. Let's see if we can get him to come. There we did, we got to go up on the trap. We're doing better already. Yeah, okay. Take out the archers first this time. I think there's a timing aspect that I'm not getting. But then maybe I am. Oh, I don't know. So anyway. You've now seen me actually do some combat successfully on easy mode. 
you see me do some combat unsuccessfully, also on easy mode. And now you're going to see me running away. Fall back! Everybody to the temple! No! At which point we'll see another cutscene. Bear in mind again, this is the tutorial. We're going to unlock more abilities uh, as we go through it to do with stealth and uh, various other bits and pieces. Uh, but you've seen the basic gameplay. There we go, more cutscene. So I will uh, be wrapping up this video after this next fight. I'll just say, yeah, so it's well worth four quid. It's not, it's far from a perfect game, it's true. But for four quid, it's a pretty good action RPG so far. And uh, yeah, I'd recommend picking it up by the time this gets uploaded. I've just got less than 24 hours to uh, Just a little less than 24 hours to get it at four quid. And, uh, you will see how Buffalo is getting along with the scratch. Yeah. He's meant to be guarding their invoking chamber. Huh? But can't get out of here! Go find Pila for me while you're gone. I'll give you butt, Captain. Right. Are you coming or what? So yeah, I'll leave it there. It's uh, certainly pretty good for four quid. Whether it's whether it's worth the full price, um, twenty quid after the sale, I'll leave it up to you to determine. But uh, if you had any concerns about how well it run in Linux, it, it seems to me to uh, run pretty well uh, on Linux. Steam controller support, all pretty good. Definitely worth checking out. I would say.